It was a night for the pitchers in the American Association on Thursday night. Welcome to the American Association Whip Around on this Friday. Incredible pitching performances all around the league last night. A lot of series wrapping up on Thursday night as well. Let's start in Fargo, where arguably best performance of the season thus far. Tyler Grauer, the big lefty, a complete game shutout against the Railcats. Just four hits, no walks. Four strikeouts and route to the first complete game shutout this season as the Red Hawks win six to nothing. To Lake Country, where there was a bit more offense in this one. Cleburne's Zach Narrier drives in two with this double in the top of the third. Narrier has been scorching hot in this series. He would hit a home run here in the seventh, and Jose Cermo goes back to back with them. His league leading 14th of the season, also on top of the RBI leaderboard with 42 now as Cleburne wins nine to two. Rubber match in Kansas City between the Explorers and the Monarchs and Trenton Toplicar was outstanding for Sioux City. Eight innings, just seven hits, one earned run allowed, one walk, and five strikeouts. Offensively, he gets some help in the sixth. Miguel Sierra drives in two with this triple to put the Explorers up three to nothing. Daniel Perez would follow with a homer as the Explorers win eight to one and take the series in Kansas City. To Milwaukee, where it was also a rubber match between the Canaries and Milkmen, and Christian Young was incredible for the Milkmen. Six shutout innings, just three hits, two walks allowed with nine strikeouts. Young, an ERA under two, he's second in the league with a 1-8-0 mark. And Gabriel Cancel in the seventh gives Milwaukee a three to nothing lead with this triple. Milwaukee wins four to one and they take the series. To Kane County, where it was the best matchup of the night, between the pitchers. Tyler Palm for Chicago. Seven innings, one earned run, five strikeouts, but Jack Fox was even better. Eight innings, just one hit allowed, one earned run, and eight strikeouts. Fox leads the league with a 1-5-6 ERA. Incredible season thus far. Offensively, one-to-one game in the eighth. TJ Bennett drives home the go-ahead run with this RBI single. Kane County salvages a game in the three-game set. They take it to to one. Finally to Winnipeg, Lincoln going for the sweep north of the border, but in the first, Max Murphy strikes first for Winnipeg, a three-run shot, the ninth of the year for the reigning MVP. To the fourth, four to two, Winnipeg leads. Drew Devine ties things up with this two-run double and fast forward to the seventh still four to four when Nick Anderson blasts another one his 12th of the season a two-run shot Winnipeg goes on to win six to five and sweep the gold eyes here's your final scores once again from an awesome Thursday night Lincoln and Fargo Moorhead complete sweeps Sioux City and Milwaukee clinch series victories Cleburne goes up two games to one in their six game set in Lake Country and Chicago still wins that series in Kane County two games to one Standings update in the East, Milwaukee three and a half games up over Chicago in first place. Cleburne just behind them in third, King County five and a half back in fourth. And in the West, Kansas City has slipped. Fargo-Moorhead takes the first place spot, a game up over the Monarchs. And don't look now, but Lincoln just five games back in third place. Tonight, we've got a full slate of action for you on this Friday night, including five brand new weekend series getting underway. One of the highlights, Chicago and Kansas City matching up once again after the Dogs took three out of four from the Monarchs at home. You can catch all the action tonight at aabaseball.tv or get your tickets through the AA Baseball app or at aabaseball.com. I'm Matt Yazel for the American Association, where we play to win.